Well, hello. So, here we are in 2020, still masking for COVID. Wanted to share with you another episode of Love Poems from God, um, brought to you by Rabia of Basra, who was a um, Islamic saint, female Islamic saint, even before Rumi, and of the Sufi tradition. jealous of a pond when God called when God said my aunt my hands are yours I saw that I could heal any creature in this world I saw that the divine beauty in each heart is the root of all time and space I was once a sleeping ocean and in a dream became jealous of a pond penny can be eyed in the street and a war can break out over it, over it amongst the poor. Until we know that God lives in us and we can see him there, a great poverty we suffer. Put in my get to the second poem. <laughs> I hope God thinks like this. There is a dog I take, I sometimes take for a walk and turn loose in a field. And when I cannot give her that freedom, I feel in debt. I hope God thinks like that and is keeping track of all the bliss he owes me. Here's another one, it acts like love. It acts like love, music. It reaches toward the face, touches it, and tries to let you know his promise, that all will be okay. It acts like love, music, and tells the feet, you do not have to be so burdened. My body is covered with wounds this world has made but I still longed to kiss him, even when God said, could you also kiss the hand that caused each scar? For you will not find me until you do. It does that, music. It helps us to forgive. There's one more. Trying to work in. Actually, I think this is one of my favorites so far. Once I heard two camels walking, and they were complaining about all the weight they had to carry when they crossed the desert. And they were especially peeved about that new camel, whose only load was the master's young daughter, who would often pet the camel and even sing to its sweet songs. While they had to often feel the whip of men and listen to their crude stories of romantic exploits. An older camel was hearing the chat as I was and spoke saying, you know, it is our habit to bite when we are grouchy and just yesterday I saw you snap at that man who whipped you. Maybe you shouldn't bite. Maybe the master has two daughters who sing and pet. And although this may be stretching things a bit, I am reminded of some words of wisdom I have been trying to work in somewhere for days. Those who are trusted by others, God trusts. If I did not pray, if I did not pray, I could not move against this wind. All that is said of me that is untrue would make lame my gait if I could not free myself from the weight of others' malice. I could not move against all its light if I did not pray. 
See how things become? What a change can happen when we find a way to keep him close. Thanks so much for stopping by.